Alrighty, so welcome back to the Civil FE exam review. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our review in the geotech engineering section, and we're going to be focusing specifically on stability of retaining structures. And so I have a few practice problems for you all. At first, to me, these questions would look a little bit scary or throw me off just because of some of the symbols and because of some of the terminology. But as I have gone through them, um, they seem a bit easier now. So I want to share with you how to break these down so that they're not super challenging. All right. So number, let's look at number one. So number one says, what is the active earth pressure coefficient based on the following retaining wall details? Okay, so you got a backfill angle by that, whatever that is, is that a, looks like an S, somewhat of an S, is equal to 30 degrees. Wall angle uh, of internal friction is equal to 20 degrees. All right, determine... Uh, the active earth pressure coefficient. Okay. So given the given information uh, that we have is they give us a backfill angle, right? They give us a backfill angle. And they also give us a... Uh, wall angle of internal friction angle. Okay, so we're trying to find what? Well, it keep, says it twice uh, in this question, it's the active earth pressure coefficient. So active earth pressure coefficient so based on this what formulas might I need to use well I don't know what any of this is so I'm just going to search active earth yeah just active earth it's only one thing that comes up when I search active earth all right and so ka is equal to the Rankine active earth pressure coefficient Okay, so I believe that this is, might be what I need. And so I find it says that it equals um, tangent squared. Whoa, you can't see anything. Okay, so. Let me just move me. Then you should be able to see everything. Okay. So here at the bottom, all right, we have KA, which says uh, it's the Rankine active earth pressure coefficient. And it is equal to this tan squared. Uh, and in parentheses, it's 45 minus phi divided by 2. Well, what is that symbol, phi? Well, if we take a closer look. Just looking through the geotech section to see if I can find what phi is. All right, so this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. So, aha. Phi is angle of in eter internal friction. Okay, so which angle am I gonna be using? Well, I'm gonna be using the angle of internal friction not the backfill angle um, for this. So now we solve, right? I think I have everything that I need. 
and I have the formula that I'm going to need. It's going to be Ka is equal to tangent squared of 45 degrees minus phi angle of internal friction 20 degrees minus I mean, over 2. And when I solve for that, I get my active earth pressure coefficient to equal 0 0.49 or A. Hey everybody. I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning. So I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough. And as you're going through material, you may be saying, Ugh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months. And you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories. Um, I am looking to work with individuals one on one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not... Uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, 
free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video.